Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. We greet you in the blessed month of, Shab- of Rajab with this dua of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma barik lana fi Rajabin wa Shaban wa balikna Ramadan. And with assalam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And we want to return to the Quran and the crucifixion the Qur'an and the crucifixion, the subject which, which will always be important, more important perhaps for our Christian brothers and sisters than for our Muslim brothers and sisters. What does the Qur'an say on the subject of the crucifixion? It is so important because it means so much brainwashing, brainwashing taking place for so long. And we need to turn to the Quran to bring light that will dispel the darkness. So now then, we have already said it so many times, what does the Quran say about the crucifixion? And this is in Surah An-Nisa, Allah says, number one, they did not kill him. Number two, they did not crucify him. Number three, wala kin shubbihalahum. Allah made it appear to them that he was crucified when in fact he was not crucified. So if I was there, I would have confirmed he was crucified. Yes, I would have because Allah says, I made it appear that way. He is the Lord God and he can do it if he wants. How did he make it appear that he was crucified when in fact he was not? Let us first of all dismiss that nonsense, that nonsense with a capital N, that Allah wa na'uzu billah min hadha, that the Lord God caused someone to assume the appearance of Jesus and that man was crucified. That's a load of rubbish. Throw it in the garbage bin. Let's proceed to something intelligent. What did Allah do? Let us turn to the Quran rather than to people's imagination. What does the Quran say? Let us be faithful for a moment to the Quran. The third thing Allah says is, I made it appear like that. Walakin shubbiha lahum. What is the fourth thing that Allah has said? It is there in Surah to Ali Imran, it is also there in Surah to Maida. When Allah says to Nabi Isa to Jesus, Inni mutawafiq. What does this mean? The Quran was not revealed in English or in French or in German. No, the Quran was revealed in the Arabic language. And so it is to the Arabic language you must turn to understand it. But when you want to understand the Quran, you must go to the Quran to explain the Quran. If you want to understand the Quran, don't go to Google. (laughs) If you want to understand the Quran, go to the Quran. The Quran will explain the Quran. Allah explains the term of wafat at the time of death, because this is crucifixion. In Nimu I am going to cause you to experience wafat. What is wafat at the time of an attempt to crucify? The answer is found in the Quran, but they are afraid to go to the Quran. It is in Surah to Zumar. And in Surah to Zumar, this is what Allah says. Allah ba'adawuzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Allahu yatawaffa al-anfusahina mawtiha. This is wafat. That Allah takes the soul. Allah takes the soul at the time of death. When Allah takes the soul at the time of death, He does one of two things. Only one of two things. What are they? Allahu yatawaffa al-anfusahina mawtiha wallati lam tamut fi manamiha 
but there are those whose souls Allah takes. But they do not, most certainly they do not die. Even though Allah takes their soul, they most certainly do not die. He takes their soul while they are sleeping. For those for whom mouth or death is ordained, Allah keeps the soul. وَيُرْسِلُ الْأُخْرَى إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّ But for those for whom death is not written, He sends the soul back, not 2,000 years later. Stop the nonsense. Either He keeps the soul or He returns the soul. So in the case of Nabi Isa, he says, I'm going to take your soul. The implication is since he wants them to believe that he is dead, that is why he took the soul. And he had to take the soul while he was on the cross, not some Tom, Dick or Harry on the cross. Stop the nonsense. We are fed up with your nonsense. He had to take the soul while the Messiah was on the cross. You don't like that? Go your way and leave us alone with your nonsense. I'm fed up with people who refuse to think. He took the soul while the Messiah was on the cross. And when the body was taken down, then he returned the soul. That is when he returned the soul, not 2,000 years later, you dumb dumb. When the body was taken down, he returned the soul when no one could see. And then Allah raised him unto himself. This is the truth. We have explained the Quran correctly. And if this is a correct translation of the Quran, then this will prevail. And all your critical comments which differ with us will all be forgotten tomorrow. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.